Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome in, welcome all. I hope you guys have had a great day so far. Let's go ahead and make it just a little bit better, shall we? Welcome one, welcome all. Thank you guys for stopping by so early here, as we are just getting started. I'm looking forward to some good games with the fans. Uh, so we've got the lobby open right now. We're doing some multiplayer, big old fashion lobbies. So you guys can come and join at your own leisure. First come, first serve, folks. So come join up. But I want to say, before we get started here, shout out to everyone who is uh, joining us so early. We have Epic Game in Person, Eunice, Emeralds Ninja, KL5, Chow for Zombies, Tintando, Yo Yo, Peanuts, Lilith, Gibbs, Skywalker, Nathaniel, Dawn of My Requiem. Uh, Patrick is here. Hey, Patrick. Welcome in. And Dad. Uh, TP39, Spy Team. Welcome, welcome. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you got an abnormal amount of support calls for this time of year. Oof. It's, uh... Well... What, what is this? Okay. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna download that, but we'll... We'll, uh... Check on that never. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's jump into the action. Let's do it. <clears throat> the uh, update for DSP today kind of messed with your save. Your missiles started shooting the DF bases all across the planet without a signal tower, so your threat was increasing at 2% per second. Well, that's a lot. Um, that's kind of incredible. When you say... Ah. So that would actually also mess with cuz that cuz that would have a few effects cuz that would affect I presume that would actually damage the bases and break potentially some of the spawners which would normally be a good TM thing for you except you kind of are relying on farming the uh dark fog for their goods in that particular uh, save. So, that's less a good thing for you. Brought your space threat up. It was shooting the orbital bases? Because that's, that's different. That's very different. an older save, fixed the issue, but lost two hours of work. Interesting. Uh, that is very interesting to hear. Did not expect that at all. That just sounds like a unusual set of circumstances. Like, how does that make sense? But I suppose update things do unusual. Can, uh, updates can cause unusual effects.
Hmm. That's happening. I am concerned about it. But only a little concerned about it. Here, like so. Hello there, destroyer. Welcome in. Glad you enjoy their epoxy tables and woodwork. <laughs> Good luck out there, and uh, that's uh, that's what we're here for, yeah. Enjoyment, relaxation, get your mind off things, so you get away from the stress of the place for a while, you know. Such fast snipers. There we go. Player eliminated. King! Cannon and lasered. Lasered was the bigger one. Right. At least your corpse will uh, defend your teammate for a moment longer. Yeah. It's always a blessing in disguise. For your teammate, at least. Had a bit of a uh, self-destruct there. happens. Do, 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 do. 
slam it. Alright, so I'm looking to just keep slamming these shells into our opponent. Because I can. Uh, something's going to break eventually. And I'm betting it won't be me. At least you know that's the goal. sniper here. That would be great. That's kind of obnoxious to have that there at this particular angle at this time. It's fine. No. All right. It is so very close to uh hammering yeah, into him. Player eliminated. Straight to the core. I'm just going to keep hitting his core because I can. Uh, looks like cannon's very effective. Oof. Top player eliminated. There it goes. Clean through. Did a lot of damage. Space laser always a good time. Space laser always a very good time. So that's that's a good match. Going for those dead guns was a mistake. <laughs> was it? Dead guns usually work pretty well. Uh, let's see, these teams actually seem pretty reasonable for a squirrels match. Let's do let's do some squirrels. We haven't done squirrels in a bit. Or uh, well. You haven't done squirrels this team. Perfectly placed Magda Beam. That, that was. Magda Beam is always fun to use. Squirrel. When there's a uh, there's a slot open in the lobby, so we can uh, yeah, let's go ahead and add the visuals. Thank you, King. Let's go ahead and get that in here. Um, okay. I think it is no longer reasonable for us to do squirrels.
Let's uh, we'll do scrolls when the when it's not so um, stacked to decide. Give players an opportunity to do things. Imagine quad killing the map with that big cannon. Ooh, yeah, but big cannons and quad kills go so well together. Hello, hello, Raider. How you doing today? Um, I didn't do the alternate layout, and I'm saddened by this, but I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change it. How's life going? It's going very well. I'm excited. Uh, tomorrow is pierogi day, and by that I mean I, I go over to I go over to grandparents and we make pierogi because it's pierogi day. It's gonna be so tasty. Only <laughs> metal spam that third guy. Yeah, you can always tell when a player is not going to meaningfully participate when they start doing metal spam stuff. Not because metal is bad, it's just that it's expensive, and every time you get metal, you replace, you effectively delay any, well, any possibility that you progress quickly through the game. Therefore. Uh, the game is generally over before you get to participate. Pierogies are great. They really are. They're quite, um, quite tasty. How long will be streaming tonight? Uh, at least another four hours. Yeah. My family does, uh, pierogi, well, I guess, I suppose, Polish-themed cuisine every holiday season for the, uh, big family gatherings, so... Uh, we gotta, gotta, gotta get all the meals together. Whoever's in front needs to get better at Polybridge. Look, guys, we're playing Polybridge. Connect across this massive chasm. Uh, you can do that, actually. You, you're close. There you go. All right, he's, he's got it. <laughs> so I'm not seeing, um anything crazy out of the hostility yet, so we should be okay here. <laughs> and now you're hungry? <gasps> Did, is it is it time to pierogi? Is there a Christmas theme for forts? Like how the Wizard of Halloween? Uh, they've done that before, um, where they've done various themes. Uh, as, as of right now, no, there is no theme. It is the standard forts experience. Which I'm okay with. Alright then, let's do this. Pierogies are so good. They are. The, uh, we, we, um, <clears throat> we always do homemade stuff, so. We've got borscht as well. Uh, mostly pierogi and borscht because those two are the, the favorites of the lot. Oh, 
Um, this is going to be difficult. Um, that's going to make my life a little bit difficult, but I'll live with it. I'll be fine. There we go. All right, and then we get rid of this and slide this over one. The reason my left is going to be difficult is because that cannon's not forward facing enough. So this next cannon won't fit nicely here. I have to get it and do one of these. Yeah. There it is. Alright, nice. Extra cannon for extra. Uh, what I'm going to do is this. Because it is approximately time for things to escalate dramatically. And I would prefer if we didn't get blindsided by something, you know, unpleasant. Cannon looks quite vulnerable. Eh. That's a little risk if there's... Uh, it's a little much here. Let's see where this lands. Eh. It's well aimed enough for now, I suppose. Come on, give me. Thank you. One, two. <sighs> Let's get the recoil bracings in here. Where are these landing? Solid hit. And the other one hit here. I need you to do this. That should get it nice and stable. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a... Uh, bit of an artillery battery here. Now I just need to cover this all up. And say one, two, three. Because they certainly are going to be replying in kind. That sounds bad for them. I do have to look out for this getting pen here. Uh, let's get this door on here before doing anything else. All right, we've got double door on our artillery battery, and our front is holding the line deliciously. 
I say as if I'm not getting pummeled by tier threes myself. All right. Uh, let's dial. Let's send this a little bit back this way. And see where these land. Good hit. Uh, middle of the road, and then another good hit. So I do need a few things here. I need to go on a little bit of an adventure. I need to get... Uh, I am mildly concerned about... Mildly concerned about uh, our production there. Beautiful hits. So what... Oh, ho, ho. an over-the-shot, over-the-top hit. Oh, that's death. Very, very well done. Okay, so we need to dial this back a little bit. And this one especially. Alright, let's get a battery here. And... It's three. Oh, oh, there it is. Hey, right there. So, two needed to be dialed back slightly. Three was good. Two hits and ooh, taking out taking out uh, energy shields. Don't see that every day with your tier threes. Let's keep firing. How do you guys have a tiny for sniping? We're in trouble with that and being able to hit the other guy in vanilla two v two. Um. There's several different ways. Several different ways. Uh, what? Oh, we're getting hit by tier threes. How dare you fire back? This is understandable. Respect it. Uh oh. That looked like we had some uh, friendly fire incident. I do wish to re-aim slightly. Let's get a third set of doors, because I can. Where Richard could afford it. No reason not to. And then two need to go slightly further out. Three is intact. see what's happening here. The direct fire. opponent's backsides. There's always a uh, fun solution to the problem. Well, that's not good. I am amazed none of those took out is anything. It's, it's 
It's all over him. A little bit of friendly fire goes a long way. Alright, so these cannons are living on borrowed time. Because if you see how close those tier threes are to hitting him, they, uh, doesn't have long before one of those lands. And see what else can we get going here. This poor core is getting splashed down by tier threes. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So this one wasn't poorly aimed for this, but these two need to dial back. Substantially. Dialed back a little too much. This man kept his cannons intact. emerging, which is just terrifying. That should be beautiful shots. So he's got a heap ton of portal tier threes. Not entirely sure which of those shells were mine, which of those were his. But, uh, not really important at this stage. be able to figure out which one is which from this. <clears throat> the next three should be mine. One, two, three. Okay. So two and three are well aimed. Number one, less so. <laughs> Too bad no group snipers. Oh no. Continuously upgraded things. There it goes. Well done. That's um, a whole lot of stratospheric artillery. It's a yeah, it's a good time. I mentioned that I like tier threes. I did a lot of damage at tier threes. Usually tier threes don't do that much. Uh, less common for such a thing. <laughs> Tier three, you say don't do that much damage, but it's still a standard cannon. It is still a standard cannon, but its accuracy is um its precision is so bad that uh you end up missing a lot of shots even if you aim dead center mass 
it tends to fall behind in damage compared to most other things. There's a lot of base and small gaps. You know, you raise a good point. You raise a very good point. My <laughs> fingers wide. <laughs> oh no. Eaton is here to even the odds. Um, so the reason I chose battleships was to have a little bit extra chaos before. Cause the teams are not particularly well uh, well balanced at the moment. But with the Eaton here, team two is going to be in a much better position. All right, let's go. Have energy production in progress. Technology is being created. Please, no float. Batteries. Core is being swung. And technology being placed. Do it. Core swing did not go according to plan, it would seem. But, uh... It's fine. Okay, props have been added. these away. Eaton has so many patches. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. Where's the core? Uh, we're hiding it. It's his stealth core. New technology. Wow. This is the first time in a while I've felt that I've had the extraneous APM on this map to start doing things like this guy. Start doing things like this. Um, I should probably prioritize it on this side, actually, now that I think about it. Because this side is where the... Is where the, uh... Turbines must expand, the energy production must expand. Solid. Someone else is working on that. We have these being created. Good. Uh, let's get another one of these here. Start sliding a few of these around. We only have 1600 energy per second. a lot of energy but isn't isn't a game breaking amount of energy uh, but that's being fixed
Okay, uh, what else do we look forward to here? Um, going to have to deal with those. Great. Uh, let's see. Can we undo this? All of this here is just completely unnecessary. Get it to good use somewhere else. Let's continue weapons construction. This map has so much starting resources on it, it's crazy. What am I looking for? Looking for this one. Get rid of this extraneous mess. This can go away for now. There's a few here. Took a lot of damage. Uh, someone's already stability tech. Casting stability tech here. Good. here. That, for the record, is why we build ants here to begin with. Uh, without waiting for surprise activities. It looks like we are getting hit with some uh, tier 3 activity. Which is not a surprise to me whatsoever. Not even a little bit. No, the fire beam cannons. Well, hello there. Happy holidays, Incursus. Oh. A salute to you too. Can we get a little bit chat for guacamole coming in with the super chat with the support? You'll love to see it. Directed energy ants here. They still hurt. They've got a hefty amount of ants here of aircraft. Alright. Give him something to think about. Ah, we have a double node. Ooh, they have somewhere between little and no anti-air. 
into the nuke hit. This is looking good for us. That tier 3 penned us, but didn't break us. Alright, let's start. Uh, no, nah, this is fine. We've got six missiles already in this small radius. That's what we're looking for. We're not rolling tier 3s this time. They should catch all that pretty well. Very well done for their part. The tier threes will slowly chew apart our missiles. Unless we do... That's dangerous. Um, holy smokes. Why is our core dying? I think it got pressured underwater to the point where it started taking damage. Oh boy. Hello there, Kane. Welcome in. Okay, well, either way. Now, that was actually kind of devastating for us. Stability tech strong. Ah, we've lost our pretty much everything. We need to do this. Oh, it's bad. Beautiful laser. Uh, let's do some adjustments here. Ideally, before we lose everything. Uh, 
Uh, the losing everything process is happening uh, faster than I would like. Are being built here. Unfortunate. That one gunner took out two nukes, and I'm so disappointed. There's a double node there. This is not quite ready to fire just yet. This is happening. Which is going to be difficult to handle. Okay, uh, so this looks like we're swapping to this prime to this as the main weapon, which is fine. Um, what else do I do here? Um, I guess I could set up something like tier threes. That's that's possible. Why are you this much on fire? Did they full defend that? All of those Nighthawks? Can I do this now? We lost all the snipers! Um... Is that this guy does stuff coming in and rejoining the incursion for 51 months? 
We can love some love and chat for this guy does stuff. He's been here for, well, been here for a very, very long time. Just about from the beginning. After all these years. Congratulations, you regain access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, as well as your special access for all on Discord. Welcome back to the party. Just the raw amount of cannon fire coming out of them right now. I need a better sniper position to fire these missiles. This is the position with more of an angle. Because this is not working. This is deformed to the point of no longer being useful. It's so much. Okay. Crazy. Nothing made it across, which is not terribly surprising in all honesty. This is fairly common on a map of this uh, size. Got the EMP yet. Uh, we need to get our own our own uh, aircraft launched. We are not long for this world if we don't fire back successfully. That's going to make firing back quite difficult. <sighs> Worst part about it, they have someone on a sniper who's just picking off everything. We two threes of our own, we do, but we can't do that without serious restructuring. And that's going to make things very difficult. Very difficult. Look at that. Return to senders. Nothing. Yeah. 
He's sitting there with the sniper. Bullying us. Three took us out. Almost came online in time. Almost. Almost is not quite. Um, there is not a single place in this base where I can build a sniper without it being either counter sniped or just straight obliterated via cannon fire. Uh, I have tried everywhere so far. Oh, that's a bad sign. One thing that I'm going to credit as a mistake, which is something I've done before on these maps, is over-investing in turbine production back here like this, and not building tier 3s. Not that tier 3s are like the end-all be-all of weapons on this map, it's just that they scale harder. They, they allow you to get damage done consistently, and get more powerful, relatively speaking based on how long the map goes. Because the more stuff people build, the more stuff they can hit. Therefore, the more value they get on average per, uh, per shot. So they're just good to have. Us not having any of them it really, really, really didn't help that we didn't fire. We have all this ammo and we haven't fired it. But of course, it's difficult to do that. Okay, uh, I think that's it. I think they have finally worn us down. Just a little bit. Oof. Mid game they're snowballing. Yeah, they just they just kept firing with cannons and stuff. And we couldn't fire back. Uh that was that was that. I'm still not sure why we never uh, used our aircraft, but you see, we got damage done when we fire in now. Not late, but look at that! Got damage done. There it goes. 
Well done, well done. Uh, There's a lot of damage. Yeah, it was a crazy amount of damage. Let's see what the fort looked like at the end there. Yeah, I mean, it's about what I expected. This felt about right. Um, looks like they were using portal two threes. I didn't realize that. Um, it's probably something we could have done. Just set up portal two threes just randomly about. That would have been meaningful. Undefended portal two threes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were never a threat. We didn't seem. Uh, we we never had any kind of indirect weapon at any point. Which it's on me for not doing that. I should have just done it. But as you guys know, every um every three rounds we create a brand new a brand new lobby. So if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity to do it. I swear Ethan is Neo in disguise, he's good at the game. How nice of them to carry Eaton like that. Man's had more damage than everyone else combined. He was just constantly on those weapons while also... While also building madness. Which is impressive. Ah, nice delicious tea. <sighs> now the lobby fills instantly every time. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Eaton might become a good player if he just keeps practicing. <laughs> Can you imagine? Eaton with extra practice. I mean, to be fair, that's that's Eaton normally. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow wouldn't we do good old fashioned pierogi? Gonna be a little bit of waiting here. Mm. <sighs> <clears throat> See, I've got open on the side a uh, dev post. Planet side too, and I'm looking at this like this is some of the most uh, 
some of the most in-depth and meaningful commentary I've seen on a planet side dev post in ever I don't it makes me feel things I saw that dev blog. Yeah. It's, uh... I like what I'm seeing. And I hate that I like what I'm seeing. Because... That's how they get you. He finally fixes some stuff. Um... They're talking about... It's not that it's fixed. It's that they're talking about problems that they've found and like possible solutions and the ways in which they want to solve things so it's just still a work in progress um, so I don't know what to expect but Typically, the expectation, typically the pattern is they have something cool or, mean, or you know, generally interesting to say. And then they work a direction, don't quite meet what they were trying to do. And then uh, that's, that's it. This dev blog is notable for two reasons. One, they're not mentioning anything new or exciting so much as reworking old things. Which is... After, you know, ten years of development, starting to work on older things, it's... A little bit... A little bit of a lost cause, but nonetheless, it's, it's good to see that they're trying. Two, it's a major issue that they're working on that has been a major complaint from the community since dawn of time uh or well dawn of planet side like to the point where it's been a make or break kind of issue that the devs have ignored for years and they're finally mentioning it so um That's good. Um, <clears throat> I am curious to see how that holds up, given time. But you see, she's speaking uh, specifically the Sunderers being incredibly easy to eliminate and just kill fights. Like the primary gameplay loop for the average planet side battle is drop Sunderer off in a location. Zerg spawns from it. Battle ends when a light assault finds the Sunderer and throws C4 on it from space. And that's it. That's that's planet side. Um, um, their partial solutions to that problem in the past has been, well, just don't use Sunderers, use the redeploy key to teleport around. And that is, you know, yeah, that has its own massive set of problems. Um, because it bypasses logistics entirely, which means most of the other gameplay elements are just completely un... Just not... Really? just not part of the game anymore and the balancing act of that drastically changes things um, there's a lot there's a lot going on but a lot of it stems from basic issues like there's no the infantry armor balance is an issue
Death by fire beam. Yeah, I hate to see it. Planet Side has a great number of issues like that. Um, that have plagued it over the years. <coughs> Not sure if you have a C4. If you have a barrier, C4 won't do. Yeah. Yes, but then that forces you to take barrier and never anything else. Um... That also forces you to, uh, it also forces basically a, like a single loadout. That is generally not a fun gameplay loop. Uh, it does, does not help with the health of the game if you're forced to take a single thing every single time. Uh, because that single thing has downsides. And what you end up with is having to uh, play around a single a single one weakness uh, what also makes it worse is that barrier can be broken with another weapon like say the glide assault also having an anti-vehicle rocket launcher um, and does very little to assist versus other things like you know tanks let's say someone would take a lightning or just and uh, sit back and shell it a couple more times or I don't know any of the other problems that the alternate to the uh, the alternatives to the barrier is meant to solve like on the grand scheme of things it's in a very very bad place So I am quite interested to see how they solve this problem going forward. In actual implementation, because you know talk is cheap. The solution to all planet side two is just remove LA. I mean, it's not... You're not wrong, but... Uh, that would cause other issues, you know, like LA being gone, for example. Well done. Guy. Not like they have any anti-vehicle options at all. Uh, understanding Planet Side 2 is more complex than Planet Side 1. Do you think that this is an issue that Planet Side 1 handled better? Uh, so I never played Planet Side 1, so I really don't have a meaningful opinion on that. Uh, I am not the person to ask. I can only critique Planet Side 2 in its current state with the understanding that I have uninstalled Planet Side 2 and haven't played it in approximately a year uh, on account of several of those issues.
so uh hmm. planet's had its own issues i i uh so i've been told My tea has cooled to be that perfect temperature of enjoyable. And I just want to chug it. That's a solid hit. I broke him. Laser. That was very, very well done. Okay, not quite so high. So one is too high, two is, too, and three are too low. That was a lot. Yes, yes, it was. Particularly want to expand higher, but only because I don't feel like it. Yeah, that that did a lot of damage. Some beautifully timed lasers. Okay. I'm interested to see how they actually implement the Sunderer changes, because, like, they, they have it mentioned here. They haven't mentioned in the... Uh, they, they mention what they're doing and how they want to rework it. The question is... How is it going to be an implementation? It seems that they're actually doing some massive, heavy-handed reworks, which is a good thing, in my opinion. That angled airstrike was hilarious. Yas. So, the uh, I do enjoy some uh, good airplay. No tea, old duck. Uh, uh, oh, hello. Here we are. The <clears throat> like the biggest thing that drew me to Planet Side was the airplay, but that's just because I like flying things. The reason I played Planet Side for so long is because I could fly things in a game in which my friends could do non-flying things. Because the reality is, most people don't like to fly things and so when I want to play a game that where I fly things my friends don't come and join because you know they don't want to have to fly things planet side allowed me to fly things in a game where my friends didn't have to fly things so I could actually you know play the game with people and they could do their usual run and gun or whatever they wanted to do and I could provide meaningful assistance and participate with them. <clears throat> so, uh, that was fun. But Planetside Airplay has a massive glaring host of issues that is inevitably drove me away.
Not all your friends don't fly things. I mean, you're correct. Not all my friends don't fly things. I had quite a few friends who flew things. There's still, there's a difference. Yeah, well. This is fine. I remember uh, one of the more recent times I played Planet Side. <coughs> I was, uh, at the crown. Was it the crown? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at the, was at the crown. And there was some enemy lightning. It's just a pair of just a pair of beards. I presume two friends who were off running around the world. Enjoying the two bros doing lightning things together at Planet Side. You know, typical typical Planet Side stuff. Nothing unusual there. And me as an LA, I had drifters. Uh, and I was like, oh, these tanks are harassing my team. I'm gonna just go drift out over there and see four of them. Because I could. You know, because I can. Well, they saw me coming, and I was above them, so they couldn't quite aim up to shoot at me. And they're in lightning, so they don't have like an anti air weapon or anything on top. So they just start driving off. They just back off a little bit. But I have drifters, so I just keep drifting after them. They back off a little more. But I have drifters, so I just keep, you know, drifting after them. They make it all the way to Ceres Hydroponics, you know, at the base of the mountain, a base in like a, a whole grid and a half-ish diagonal away. At which point, they stop moving entirely, and I just see for them. Just mercilessly drop C4 over them, and they blow up, and that's the end of that. The reason they stopped moving was simple. They were typing. Um, <clears throat> they were typing uh, that I was a hacker. Uh, because I had f flown at them for a grid and a half space, and they couldn't escape me in their vehicles. I'm like, no, it's this is just normal LA things. I haven't done anything unusual or unexpected. You guys are rolling around lightnings anywhere near the crown. This is just what happens. You should know this by now. You guys are not low-level BR. That shut them up and went, and they stopped commenting, but that's just the state of the game. So, <clears throat> it, 
it is a little oppressive. Get the infos of true Scourge you're playing outside too. There's a difference. There's Scourges in different ways. Um, LA is game breaking in many ways, but the ways in which the LA is game breaking um, don't really apply to everyone. Like most, like when you take your average planet side enjoyer. All right, uh, that's so much. You take your average planet side enjoyer. They're not gonna care about really. Your average planet side enjoyer isn't gonna care about a sunder. They don't even know how sunders work, let alone caring about caring caring about sunders. Or you know most of the things which which keep planet side alive and intact, logistics and all the actual stuff. Most planet side enjoyers just want to go shoot mans. And that's the end of that. I think that. That's it. It isn't complicated. They just want to go shoot mans. And to that end, the infill is exploit, like game breaking exploit levels worth of bad. Uh, toxic. It's an unmitigated scourge on the game. Um, and it's a problem. It's a big problem. And it's a problem that everyone has to deal with because everyone at some point has to play infantry. And there's no real solution for it other than just straight up remove much of the infill's kit. Um, that's just how that works. So... Infills are a scourge and they are a problem. Just in a very different kind of way. And this is one of the things that I was getting at earlier. Planetside has massive, has a massive throng of issues. It's been playing, plaguing the game for a very, very long time. This is not new or unexpected. It's merely gone unfixed for years, literally years. Like sometimes, you know, upwards of it's like nine years. Some of the problems. It's it's just a, it's an issue and it's not been resolved. It's a big issue. So I'm not going to make the claim that oh no, uh, infills aren't the problem. No, they are a problem. It's just one of many problems that Planet Side has. Things like aircrafts, farming infantry. Is it a big problem? No, but it's loud and everyone exper all infantry players experience it at some point. And realistically, they can't shoot back or have a fun, meaningful interaction with the aircraft that's dusting them. So it's just, they literally can't do anything about it other than complain. So complain they will. That's all there is to it. Did it able to get portaled and still hit you? Yeah, it did. <clears throat> you get why anyone can and should hate the existence of a uh, hunter cloak, but otherwise you don't really get it. I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a surprise. It's the uh, the cloak. You can kill someone while still cloaked. That's just mechanically how the game works. It's not supposed to really work that way, but that is just how the game works. You can walk into a room, die, 
and then the guy who killed you uncloaks. So... Until that's fixed, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's been complained about for a very, very long time, and yet it's you remained unfixed. But, but they're supposed to be able to cloak. It's not... Stop it. Uncloaks, then teabags you. That's pretty much how it works, you know? They, uh, they shoot you, then uncloak, and then they run off and do whatever that they want to do. Is that what Dark Vision is for? Alright, let me... Do one of these here. It's a bug, not a feature. Two ping. That sounds bad. Why do you have 302 ping? Getting overpinned by a bomb. You're not saying that uh, infills are better or worse than other classes, just that they kill the enjoyment. Yeah, that's that's the big problem right there. It isn't fun. Because they have literal 100% cloaking. Straight up unrender from your screen on certain and under certain conditions. Can kill you while they're still cloaked and they one tap you so there's there's no there's no getting away from it usually you didn't even know there was a thing usually just a sniper from much further away i mean you don't have to be cloaked to do that that's just oh no you're a sniper doing sniper things that's uh yeah, it looks like he's having some ping issues. He is indeed having some ping. I mean, it's just hit. Well, it's two of them, really, but... That's why he always made NG understandable. Is just how that works and that's the big complaint like people don't like snipers but that it's fine to not like being sniped like it's it's part of the game you deal with it you know what killed you you can go hunt them they have a kill cam so you could just kind of go hunt them down but you don't have to it's it's a sniper like it's you know what's going on with that That's not, that's not the big, that's not the issue. You want the impression that the info cloak is stupidly loud? I mean, it isn't loud when they're not moving. The problem isn't that you can't find them when they decloak. The problem is you are literally dead before they decloak. That's, that's the problem. Like you, they never decloak. They don't decloak before killing you. At least from your perspective. It's 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 an issue. <laughs> There's no counterplay. There's no counterplay. It's not even interactivity. You are dead before anything happens. 
on your screen. That's just, it is what it is. It's just infill shot you and then he decloaks and you get to see where he shot you from. Usually it's right next to you. You can be, oh no, let me be inside this building, inside a closet, but there's an infill in the closet there too and he just took you out. It's like, you know, when, oh no, there's a sniper over there. You see the, you see the glints looking at you and whatnot. And it's like, bullet whizzes past you. Oh no, a sniper. I have to do something. You react, get for cover, run circles. No, it's none of that. It's just, I'm going to hide behind a crate, completing the objective, and then you die. That's it. That, that, that's the end of the story. There is, there is no follow-up. There's no other part to it. You were inside, behind cover, no one else in the room. So that's not fun. Um, that's an experience everyone has, so that is, that is a big problem. Apart from non-SBS players, that sounds fine. Mm. <clears throat> the problem is that Planet Side is, you know, an FPS game. And uh, fundamentally, it's an FPS game, and people want to play the first-person shooter, so... Taking that away is not good for the health of the game. At all. Trying to do that normal cloak. I mean, normal cloak is normal cloak is the um, is what they usually do that with. Because planet side's relatively low. It's a great game, and you combine the uh, the dis the time between pull decloaking and being permitted to pull the trigger is sufficiently low that you decloak and fire simultaneously, and in the time it takes the latency just literally your connection or your opponent's connection to the server to register that you decloaked you've already hit the enemy your target with the uh, bullet so the opposing player dies at the same time as you decloak sometimes depending on how the game renders things they will die and then you decloak so that's great. And that's just, you can do that literally with the starter kit. Like that's, you just take the starter rifle, bolt action headshot, you know, you're playing NC, bolt action headshot, and then with the standard cloak and that's it. That's just, that's just how Planet Side is designed. And there's that, it is, it's the welcome to Planet Side. You, you get, that you get to deal with it now. So that's that is the big complaint with uh, with infiltrators. Why infiltrators are the scourge of the game because they are. Um, but they are they're they're the scourge in a different kind of way. In a just this isn't fun. Why did you design? Why did you make this kind of way? Whereas infiltrators, whereas uh, LA's lead assaults are just balance breaking in the worst of ways. Almost as bad as Banshee farming. Almost as bad as Banshee farming. At least Banshee farming, you can see it coming and you can hide most of the time. Um, but uh, it is uninteractive for the receiving end. And it's it's not it's not well designed, but it, only because the infantry has very difficult time has a relative lack of uh, anti-air options, or the player on the ground doesn't have a whole lot of ways of dealing with 
the aircraft. It's like, it's, it's, it's not like they can just pull a, uh, it's not like they, it's like, oh yeah, let me just pull up an anti-air gun and this will solve my problem. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't, you can't do that. So, what do? And the NCO the HA get don't do enough unless you manage to get three working together or at least in the right loadouts. Yep, that's uh, that's the crux of the issue right there. Did I not? Oh my god, I'm sitting here waiting for this to work and it's never going to work because I didn't get an extra... That's the crux of the issue right there. Anseer as is designed is not an appropriate solution to the problem. So that's a whole nother that that's a whole nother discussion. I can literally talk about that for I don't know how long. A very, very long time. Let's get this out of here. So that's on the long list of issues. The aircraft issue is one that is near and dear to my heart. So I can, I am more likely to talk about that one than most of the other ones, but it is what it is. Build on this map, or in general, like now that I think about it. Honestly, you'd happily trade out the uh, uh, having a cloak for the ability to use AMRs. Uh, that's what's called playing an engineer. Got it. All right, can I get... How about... This guy. You just want to have your sniper keep sniper. Fair enough. Solid hit. And follow up. Got it. That is so satisfying. <laughs> he was flying in the uh, with the group. Or just uh, teaching them how to fly. 
Yeah, you know, it's a good time. It's just... I don't know. I know you were... Uh, I know you were around. I don't know if you were there for this session. Remember that session where we had literally an entire platoon worth of trainees in the air? I was like, oh yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. It's great. Oh, well... You know how many people? I can count on two fingers the amount of people that came back that were still around after a month. One of them played the game longer than I did. <sighs> Ended up making their own clan. <sighs> it's always satisfying, but like, when you have a turnaround rate, or like dropout rate, it's like 98% dropout rate. Where I go back and get feedback from the people. It's like, oh yeah, from citing all these issues. Like, there's nothing I as a tra as a player or trainer or whatnot can do. The issues are all basic, core, fundamental flaws with the game. It's entirely the reason why, why people stop playing. It's just, it's it. So it's always the hardest part to get it. It is. So, like, what do you, what do you do? It's like I can't. I literally cannot play the game because nobody else is willing to put up with them with how bad the game is. So after, you know, like a couple of years, I'm just like, I'm done. I have better things to do with my life. And that was it. Uninstalled. Went a few months without playing. Reinstalled. Played it again. Had some more fun with it. Uninstalled. Didn't look back. That was more than a year ago. So the nurse to their asses was your last straw. Aside from the urge like, that made you happy, understandable. You should can it go on its side three. That has been a fairly common opinion for quite some time. I'm always happy to be a company. You know, having... It's like my job to be the second monitor. I'm okay with this. It's called Planet Side Redacted and it failed. We don't talk about Planet Side Redacted. I did actually have a bit of fun with Planet Side Redacted, but only because it was such a blatant copy of Planet Side that it was the same thing. And it was fun to do squad leading with new player squads. Because there was, uh. Cause, you know, it was squad on squad violence, basically. And, uh. A lot of the players that joined in were, uh. Or the, uh. <laughs> the BR kitties would jump in and like, oh, what is this cool game that popped up in my category? I'm like, oh yeah, so this is a game that we've been playing for the past 7,000 hours, and um, you're gonna get rolled and completely destroyed by people who've been playing this game for the past 7,000 hours, so in an effort to have you have a good time, we're gonna bring a couple players over and just do some new player squad leading. It was, uh, it was, uh, <sighs> fun for a couple days. Apex Legion killed the runner. Yes, but... I would make the claim, I'm going to make the assertion that Arena would have died whether or not Apex 
Legends was around. Um, the game was fundamentally bad on a level such that it couldn't stand on its own. Um, so I, I do not give Planet Side Arena enough credit to claim that it was even killed off by um, Apex Legends. It just... It has to have... In order for something to die, it must have first been alive. It was that level of bad. But... Apex Legends certainly uh, didn't help. I remember <clears throat> there was these two TTV players that were, they weren't live streaming, but they were acting as if they were live streaming and like bantering on to themselves with each other doing the whole overexcited um, persona type thing that you'd expect to see someone who's being an entertainer actively. And well, I had some mental reservations about them for that because they weren't live and that they were just doing that, which gives the impression that they are naturally like that as their normal personality. Um, they were genuinely trying to have a good time as they explored the game. So like, all right, great, great. Let's do this, let's do this, let's run through here, just get your, you know, move on over to this group. We've got to get the jump pads over here and travel to this spot. They were not happy about being told where to go whatsoever, and they insisted on jumping jetpack first into every engagement and uh, had to get rezzed multiple times, but we... Um, we tried to, you know, keep them, keep them alive, and we had our, we had a squad of like six people, like six veterans, so we weren't, we weren't exactly uh, under kitted for carrying players. It's just, it, it was a really heavy weight to carry, you know. So there were a few shining moments where they were saying things like, oh no, we're just going to jetpack on them. Like, don't do that. They're going to shoot you out of the air. Like, what do you mean they're going to shoot us out of the air? Where it's a jetpack, they're not even going to see us coming from above them. I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. We recognize the names of the players over there. They've been playing this game for the past, on this map, for the past several thousand hours. If you jump over there, they're going to see you, and they're going to gun you out of the sky those two decided to jump on now okay now for even more perspective for those who don't know this is a 12 v 12 battle arena they're jumping into 12 players like that's not even if even if you were to survive you know the two players that you are shooting at you're jumping into 12 players in the middle of them with no cover because you're jumping into the middle of them. That's not... Like, I'm sorry, you don't have enough bullets in your weapons to, to do that. That's not... That's not how bullets work. Like, you have a limited amount before you have to reload. So that was... That was the caliber that... That was the caliber of uh, thought processes going on there. But... <clears throat> I digress. The... Um, they jumped in, and we, you know, we used them as a distraction. Um, we engaged with the rest of the group, and they had an exceptionally high advantage over us, just material advantage in this particular instance. And it didn't end up well for us, but we were able to get a clean engage and clean disengage, minus the two that jumped in there. We did manage to resurrect them, 
So they stayed with us. And they started complaining about all this and this and that. Then they found a tank. And it was controlled by somebody else. Like it, it wasn't our tank. So that was unpleasant. It started shooting at us. And so we're like, all right, what do we do? These guys immediately start complaining about, oh, this and this and that has not fair. What, what do you mean we have tanks? How do you, you're not supposed to have tanks versus infantry. That's not how, that's not how first person shooters are supposed to work. And I'm like, and they, they started going on and on and on about how last match they died with tank and the tanks were just overpowered. I'm like, all right. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Press the fire selector switch on your gun. Like, where is... What, there is no fire selector switch. Like, I know. The game doesn't tell you about it. The tutorial is broken and literally doesn't tell you about it. It's this key by default. Try pressing and see what happens. Swaps over to a rocket launcher. Like, Alright, team. Three, two, one, go. We all 12 of us push over the hill, high ground over the tank, and just launch cluster rockets at these things. This tank gets hit for about half its health, turns and runs. And I kid you not, these guys are like the happiest I've ever heard them. Uh, these guys, there's just the giggles of laughter coming out of them was hilarious. As I could just vicariously feel the joy of them getting to cast vengeance upon the tanks that had been ruining their, their gameplay and experience for the past several rounds as they finally figured out that they come to default with an anti-tank weapon in their primary rifle. So that's uh that's just how that goes I guess but I got a bunch of stories like that but most of them are not particularly good because a lot of them are oh no uh, they have a hacker problem now because surprise the uh, they just copy pasted from the old game engine which means literally all the hacks from planet side to transfer over and can be used without modification onto planet side redacted um, So that was that was a separate issue that never got resolved. Um, so that's fun. Is this man not defended against? I just realized this man's not defended against laser beams here. Like, that's his core right there. I probably shouldn't have done that. So now he's basically get taken by someone who can build a base. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot going on with that particular game. I'm going to take part in the parent wake of Planet Side 2. Hey, uh, no, I mean, Planet Side 2 is surprisingly not dead. Um, I was expecting it to die rather rapidly after... Uh, after... Uh, not just B-Way, but Rel leaving. Apparently not the case. Um, apparently it's getting some new and frankly amazing looking updates. Like, I was just reading the uh, dev blog about the Sunderer updates. Sunder in the upcoming Sunderer changes. <laughs> B-Way didn't actually leave, they just thought the name B-Way. Really? I was under... I was under the 
from what I read, it sounded like the main players that were keeping things together uh, were planning on stopping playing Planet Side entirely. Which is kind of a big deal given that Planet Side is based uh, mostly on player run activities and infrastructure, and B Way was like the backbone of Emerald for most sides. You know, everything from new player uptake and teaching gameplay mechanics to doing actual operations. Shades, for example, is in leading squads and TR. Really? Okay. Okay. So that's... Then uh, I I take back my words. I am incorrect. Because that was the big thing. Because that was, that was what would concern me. Because I was like, okay, like people like Shades are taking a indefinite hiatus and going away. And I'm like, all right, well, once that leadership falls apart, then Planet Side suffers massively. Because he did say that, you know, he's backing away from doing the testing stuff and all that's and all the uh, the things that planet side needs because planet side for planet side 2 for a long time has been um planet side 2 for a long time has been relying on the existing players to teach new players how to play the game uh, due to a lack of tutorial or just scuffed mechanics something as simple as oh no wall climbing this is not an intended gameplay mechanic and we're not going to teach you about it but it's kind of fundamental to how a lot of bases operate today and the only way to learn it is to go from a new is to learn it from a new player and planet sides core gameplay loop i'm going to describe it this way planet sides core gameplay loop relies on similar type mechanics that must be taught by other players or experience or in some way learned over dozens of hours of time which is something that you don't get before players leave the game forever so the turnover rate for planet side is massive because of that because players just don't stick around long enough to learn the game they would just leave so instead planet side has been relying on existing players to tutor them and get them into the game to keep the game alive and to that ends b way was and things like skl but b way especially was a massive driving force to keeping the game alive by keeping the machine of new players stable. So that's when I saw B-Way breaking up and a lot of the leadership going away on an indefinite hiatus. It was like, okay, well, this is really, really, really bad for Planet Side long term. So. I am very happy to hear, uh, well, happy is a strong word, but it is nice to hear that B-Way, or at least the players who made up B-Way, haven't gone away, because when they do, uh, it's, it's real bad for the player base. <clears throat> There's so many nuances you never knew until you played a bit within curses, like how to fight against an aircraft as a ground troop. Hint. By praying to God, you have a better pilot on the team. <laughs> oh God, it's funny because that's that hits a little close to home. Hello, 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 Darkcast. You missed your 12 months of message? Oh no! But as always, you're happy to be around. Thanks for keeping the Fords coming. Gladly. Ah, I'm always happy to be around. I'm happy to be here. Very, very much looking forward to uh, streaming every time. Just to spend some more time with you guys, you know? Welcome, welcome back, Caps. Congratulations, you've regained all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, as well as the special access we on Discord. Welcome back to the party, yeah? Alright, then 
let's go visit. I don't think Curse is teaching you have a shot. I appreciate it. Yeah. I I I truly did enjoy teaching the fly. It's always a good time. <sighs> I'm going real eco heavy. Am I gonna get punished for this? Not immediately. This sniper using as a decimator or an AP tank cannon, then yes, yes, that would work. That's true. Unironically, um, the AP tanks, MP tanks, were the premium anti air weapon in Planet Side. Which is a little weird when you say it out loud, but I mean, that is just how it's designed, so like I can't, can't say too much about that other than you know this is this is the game it's how it's been for a long time so like well, here we go deal with it i guess I used to feel dancey air lightnings just to make aircraft mad they would drive away from the armor column and drive <laughs> Uh. Yeah, the um, the whole and the whole air ground interactions is a disaster in Planet Side. It's like, but wait, why is an AP shell specifically? Why is an AP shell? the best anti-air weapon because that's just how it's designed genuinely scary too all right i'm gonna have to deal with this it would seem all right so two things we're doing this uh we're doing Um, do I care about that? I mean, I will, but not right now, I think. I just realized that wasn't... I didn't add the extra layer. I needed one extra layer there. Don't prevent that from happening. I was like, oh, I'm fine. No, I already have that. Fit. No, I, I had the thickness I needed. I didn't have the... Um, I needed an extra layer there. And I'm realizing... I realized that after... Like, as he was shooting the plasma. I was like, oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I just didn't... This didn't defend my core. Okay, well, that's that then. <sighs> Some takers learn how to read air path and know how to drop path of the shells with eight lineups on amazing shots. Which is terrifying, by the way, as the aircraft player. Um, very terrifying. Trying to kill aircraft from the ground is a pipe dream. Best you can do is make yourself enough of a nuisance that they go looking for their easy kills elsewhere. Well, that is how the uh, game is designed. Um, that is the developer stated purposeful design intent of anti-air in the game. Um, 
that it is meant to be a deterrence that you annoy the aircraft to the point they go elsewhere and leave you alone. Uh, that is that is the intent of aircraft of anti air in Planet Side, which I kind of sort of get why they did that, but they need to have more than just that as the option. Not everything needs to be you know that just basic deterrent. So that's that's a thing, and it's. That is one of the biggest issues. It leads to one of the biggest issues with the game, in that the aircraft are incredibly unfun to play against. Just another frustration to drive the average player away. Yes, yes. There needs to be an aircraft kill option for the ground, because fighting aircraft swarms is kind of a problem. Exactly. Uh, and that's why AP tanks become the premium anti-air. Because AP, as difficult as it is to hit, is, a is actually able to kill aircraft unlike every other anti-air weapon in the game. So... Even if you miss... 9 out of 10 shots or more that one time you get a hit is going to do more damage than spending literally hours trying to use an anti-air weapon against them. So it's just worth doing. So you know if you have oh no let's just go out of para, para lightning tanks with AP, point them at the sky we're going to be genuinely more of a threat to the aircraft than if you were to have uh, flak. Which is fun. Um, that's that's always a great mechanic. Remember the month when Skyguard was individually effective. Lots of shattered vote was had. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, that's a that's a sympathizable feeling right there. a um, lot going on, but that's what it is. <laughs> Quick is not an exploit nerf ever. <laughs> yeah, I s I'm trying to avoid going down the rabbit hole of air ground balance because it's just <clears throat> it, it it isn't worth speaking about. It's too complex. It's too deep seated. We've moved on. But yeah, I'm looking forward to um, I'm looking forward to seeing the reviews of the patch, the new Sunder update when it uh, when it goes out. I do like the ideas that they've listed in the dev blog. Um, <clears throat> it seems like it's a really good idea. Um, they didn't mention anything about aircraft, so I'm not. So I'm not gonna be. I'm probably not gonna be that interested in it. But it does seem I like the ideas. Probably fixes a lot of the issues that they're suffering. But of course, implementation is talk is cheap. Implementation is what's gotta happen. Yeah. And uh, moving on.
Uh, what I really want to play is Dyson Sphere Program. <laughs> they need the battlefield solution of being able to snipe people out in the pilot seats. That would be uh, that would be interesting. That would actually be kind of fun. That that certainly would be kind of fun. Like I would I would enjoy that. I remember when I first started playing um, Planet Side, I tried to do that several times, but. didn't figure it out pretty quick that's not how that worked and then I was like oh I can fly things and then I flew things a lot DSP, yes. I know, I left you guys in a cliffhanger last night. Yeah. Uh, preparing to invade. Did you manage to get another planet? Uh, we are prepared to invade the next planet. Um, there's five or six rogue AI bases on the next planet. And so we've done a whole lot of, I'm going to say, over-preparation for it. Do they? It's relatively new. Um, I'm not going to say it's relatively new. Um, it was released like a year and a half ago, Builder. Uh, it's a... It is described as an artillery gun. Artillery is a strong word to describe it. The same generation as the King Snake? Yes. The, um... It's described as an artillery gun. It's based, people tend to use it more as a point blank. Shotguns is strong is not a good word to describe. Like a point blank smoothboard cannon. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of garbage range. Um, it doesn't shoot very far. It's got a lot of gravity. It's meant to be fired. It's designed as if it's meant to be fired at a high angle so it drops onto targets. Uh, but it's... It has such low velocity that it uh, just dropped. That it just... It was not a useful artillery weapon. Uh, so people just started using it as a... As a close range, high damage... Cannon. They buff the velocity and gravity, so now it's just a glorified AP, you know? That's probably for the best. That it's just a... Uh... I would love to have seen them gone the other direction with it. Massively increase its gravity and velocity. To give it a... Uh... Give it a... Potential use as an artillery option. Because NC's got enough AP. I don't. They really don't need more. It's just not necessary. The word you're looking for in World of Tanks is derp gun. It's a low velocity HE howitzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that is a fairly accurate description. It's just that it could only shoot out to like a hundred meters. It was disgustingly low power, low velocity. It just like blooped. Just dropped into the floor. Self damage was a big issue for a while. <laughs> It's like, what? Yeah, the worst part is, is to get, even at the longer range hits, you had to aim up so high that your target would drop out the bottom of your view screen, so you literally had to blind shot at like a 60 degree angle. You couldn't even see the target you were aiming at with the artillery site. It was like, whoa, whoa, what? Uh. 
Yeah, you can still destroy your own lightning with it because it's a we actually hurts things. Yeah, it's I, I think it's the only area of effect. I I mean outside of outside of like uh, outside of the bastion, I think it's the only area of effects explosion that damages vehicles, isn't it? Like none of the other ones damage vehicles outside of the orbital strike and the um, and the bastion. Maybe the... Hmm. Vanguard is simply... Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Vanguard and the Lightning both got the same. Isn't the artillery emplacement cannons the ones you build in bases? The flail? I guess. Yeah, I guess. Is left seat? No, left is uh, overdrive. Yeah, I think the, I think the flail does as well. Now that, now that you mention it. Technically, hurt your own vehicles with the fury still because his AOE is. You know, I, 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 you know, you're right. You're right. You can. The. Uh... Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there, there are more that have an AOE damage. Vehicle capable, AOE damage. I've been tempted to uh, jump into uh, War of Thunder again. Because I haven't played it in a very... It's been years. It's been so many years. Talk about tanking. It's like, if I want to tank, give me some of that taste of War of Thunder. And far left base is very planchy. You know, you'll learn eventually. <laughs> Flails bother you for being as big of a gun as they are. You never feel like they have long enough range to make them worth it. That's by design, because flails used to be, when they were launched, were kind of sort of overpowered. And... They still kind of sort of are overpowered. Uh, Osher reminds us of this. And so the only solution that they... The solution was to literally prevent you from using them in combat. Which defeats much of their purpose. So like... Eh? Well done, team. You did it. You still use them in combat, at least on Osher. And Osher, yeah. And really, <laughs> it's it's one of the reasons Osher. I like and dislike Osher for that. Like it's when all the gloves are off. Osher, Planet Side becomes its own unique brand of fun, which is. In my opinion, a great time. Um, but, but. It is not clean, and it, is, it has its issues. Need some work. For sure, need some work. Like when you're like, oh yeah, the only way to get across to, from this island to that island is via footbridge. And you know what's on the other side on that island? Seven flails. Good luck. <laughs> 
why is this the only way to get across? Because no one wants to drive a Sunderer around the side. And oh wait, no, you can't do that because it's up on top of a cliff. Oh, sure, is absolutely great when people accidentally stay there and get proper fights. See, I agree. I agree. Um, it's just... <sighs> In order for that to happen, you have... It requires that you get people who... Um, it requires that you get people who are willing to do the logistics and such. Who are willing to put everything together. Otherwise, it just, it just doesn't work. And... So very many people only wants to do, only want to do, um, this is, yeah, only want to do the shooting element and nothing else. And so you get just the shooting elements and then people basically just fall apart because it's like, but but we just want to shoot mans. And then nothing happens. And then no one gets to shoot mans. Then everyone leaves. But you get a group that actually puts logistics together and keeps the battles going. And, you know, manages to keep their Sunderers alive despite the current implementation of Sunderer and their issues. You know, before a, a light assault comes around and snipes it. What else is on an island? At least three tanks just watching that bridge. Oh, yeah. Tanks and several walls, some AI turrets before they were removed. You know, adjusted. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot preventing you from going across that bridge. And B-Way shows up and just drops a galaxy over the top. And uh, no one gets to, no one gets to fight back after that. At least let me rephrase: no one successfully fights back after that. And then a fleet of sky whales appear and the lowly peasants cry out in fear and awe. <laughs> oh gosh, I love doing that. Getting the uh, giant air balls together and just rolling through the skies. Or alternatively, I call up the friends and be like, Hey, we found a giant ball of galaxies rolling through the skies. I heard they could... I, 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 I heard they could use some attention and roll up with our own ball of mosquitoes. Or whatever it is we're flying that day. Bring out the reavers for the uh, bonus burst damage. <laughs> I'm taking down balls of air, I know, right? <laughs> Why is the sky moving? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, I'm into it. It's a good time. Ah. <sighs> 
am I looking for here? I probably need to adjust this while I can before things escalate. Please delete. hit me. set up with some defenses because it is past cannon o'clock. I do have some anti right here. Not so exposed cannon. Expecting the door snipe, but I'm okay with this. <sighs> that is a terrifying amount of bullet. here. Nothing, maybe? He's gone. Let's see. Let me just drop this right down his front. See, where he is. see how he likes it. <laughs> On the uh, topic of a lot of people just want to shoot mans. Yeah, there is a... Um, the skill gap is an issue. Um, it's the same thing with aircraft as well where most of the best pilots are also the best shooters. And so, if you are a good pilot, it's like, all right, well, now you have to be... It's like, now you're almost forced to fly. Because if you don't fly, then nobody flies, or at least nobody good enough flies, and then you lose the game. And so you, you just kind of get locked into doing that one play style. Because somebody has to do the thing. Or everyone loses. And that's just how that goes. I should change target. There's no way to have enough AA and ICs. 
You are correct. Uh, it's pain. I say this: we are somewhat lucky that our opponents here are not focusing their fire. If they did, we'd be in trouble. Like a lot of it. It's a lot of AA. It's not enough AA, is what it is. Oh, beautiful shot. And no more aircraft for you. Which makes me very happy. See what killed you? Uh, not a surprise. Got him. I do want to check out that uh, tier 3 hit because that was beautiful. I was going to say, he didn't have much defenses around his base. This one I was surprised he put there, because that was visible and I had half a mind to try to snipe it out. It was very close. Oh man, all three of those tier threes are merging. Two of them are going to be like on top of each other when they fall. Yeah, alright. It looks like they're falling directly on top of the core too. The way the cannon shells over pen and just drop through the bottom of the base. Very satisfying. Just cut the base into pieces. Hello, Eric Saps. Welcome in. Squirrels, sure. New lobby? Oh no, you're right, new lobby. Nice hits, very nice hits, very, very nice hits. You, sir. What you doing? What? I see you there. What? 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 What you doing? I'm tempted, but I, I can't, I can't. Is it squirrel's time? Are you all ready? Project increases, but you test it. I want to know. I could probably. It's, it's not important. Ah. What I want to do is play Dyson Sphere and invade the next world because we haven't invaded a world in an entire stream, and that it feels wrong. <clears throat> it feels very wrong.
<laughs> the incursion must grow. Yes. Uh, predominantly via missiles. So that's uh, been the weapon, the weapon of choice. He's fiending to play DSP as much as he's fiending to kill the twins. Yes. You still gotta get you your uh, your twin slayer badge. There, build there. So yeah, it feels good. Just tell me when DSP attack. It'll it'll have to be an extreme. It won't be it won't be tonight. Not ultra concerned about it. Fair enough. I was just very 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 into it. Also, hello there, Andromeda. Welcome in. He's mumbling about mathing missiles at the moment. In Dyson Sphere? Because, uh. Missiles are quite good. Like, quite very good. Have I killed this one's a hard mode? I have, yes. They were not easy. Uh, that's just the way I like things. Not easy. Oh, it's going shotguns. Okay. Let's see. What? Oh, nice. Got it. The EMP too. That's still going to be devastating. Um, to, um, yeah. I feel like one of these is not like the other. Got into the open door, so that's cool. Right, let's get this set up and prepared to launch. What are the. Like, I didn't even look. King Benjai. Okay, I see. Should probably move elsewhere. Good job. Let's 
This is gone. Um. Yeah, let's hit him with this. Can't quite hit up here yet. Deltawing desync. Is Deltawing the one that exploded? Uh, I don't. I think not. I will take this. Alright, good. No more of that. I'm hitting it. That's about all I can do. I'm um, just complete cleansing. <sighs> no one, no one told me to stretch, so I stretched anyways. bad map not a bad map just very aggressive map very aggressive map The violence layer layer was released for ultra kill. Oh, well, that's going to be satisfying, enjoyable. Front was too slow to get EMPs, so you were able to force them from just you were able to uh, prevent them from firing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, uh that was particularly one sided. That's kind of the issue TM with that map is that players who don't know what they're doing get punished really hard. And it's just because that map is so aggressive that um you, you gotta you gotta be quick with your everything. What am I doing? Hmm. 
I'm <laughs> getting all the nice bag turbine bases. Yeah. More orbital strike. Oh my god, I didn't add it. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to leave this here. Yeah. Uh, I did actually manage to beat the twins hard mode on a uh, with a in solo queue, which surprised me. I didn't expect to do it via solo queue, but it was just good all around. Good team, got job done. Punched him hard. Blueberries and Dark Tide are very hit or miss. Yes, yes. But that's not the worst thing. I'm just happy that there are good blueberry options sometimes. Why did I, this is not what, this is not what I wanted, but it's what I've gotten. So I guess this is what I gotta live with now. If I focus, but probably won't be a problem. just came back on for the first time in three days three day power outage uh that sounds bad i should look into that uh, is there like a tsunami coming through or something like you've been floating your puns oh no well i would i would happily i will happily be the target of your uh to vent your frustrations you know they released a new battle group for uh, Venomox in uh, Company of Heroes 3? Uh, I did not, actually. I presume they did another content drop overall. The uh, Italian coastal reserves about bunkers and artillery. Oh, neat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, communication never gets old. Good job, King. A geomagnetic storm hit Earth three days ago. The earthquakes. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Yeah. 
the uh, the big storm. All right, let's get this firing. Beautiful shot. At this range, snipers are imprecise. So, it's something I have to concern myself with. My favorite map? Oh, pff. I do not know the answer to that question. Um, that's a tough one. There's so many good maps. Battleship's pretty good. I tend to gravitate towards the more vanilla maps. Is that full exposed? I think so, because he's rapidly trying to... No, he's still got a door on it. Okay. Firing the same cannon in the same place hits three different weapon platforms on the opponent's base. Oh, door snipe. Well, that's big. Is it going to drop? No, but... I can deform it heavily, which will unfortunately force him to fire upon me specifically. Which is not, you know, great, but... Well, that's bad. That's all cannons down. Nice. All right, in that case, swap targets to here. Ah, 
let's do this. Let's change this up a little bit here. What race is always crying? Crying. Tyranids. A. This one then. Definitely need one of these. Drop this guy here before it do it much of anything else. Do, do. Anything I would like to do here. Like, I don't need weapons or anything here. Like, I don't know what to put there is the thing. Oh, we broke the weapons platform. Good. There it is. And only one player remains. So what I need to do is adjust this and undo this, basically. Make it rotate just a little bit higher. Firing, not a good, not a good option here. Okay. It's time to ramp up the damage. Hit. Oh. oh, I see. Worth it. I'm going to continuously get more cannons, is what I'm going to do. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this weapon. I'm looking to do this. here so a way for the enemy to win the game um technically yes uh, practically i don't see it happening like it's mechanically possible it's just not likely to happen you know I wouldn't expect the opponents to come back here. <sighs> People always ask you how it feels to put your finger in an electrical outlet. It hurts. What? That's a neat map. Very long. Hmm. 
very low. People were shocked to find out you're not a very good electrician. Uh. Yes, could possibly go wrong. I eat more tea. I drink all my tea. Like all of it. I have obtained more tea. Is the AI do on that map? I don't remember. Um, haven't. It's been a while since uh, since we've done the AI on that map. I could probably check. I mean, I could always load it up, check it out, but. <sighs> Um, you know, I have half a mind to, uh, do one of these here. I don't know, but we'll find out. I think it's the usual pence swing, but it looks close enough. I think we can get away with it. Which is saying something because pence is a little bit tight. say the least. Oh. Yes is the answer. and self-detonate, no. I would rather explode. <laughs> tiny bit shocked that went as well as it did, but only a tiny bit. I know. I'm like, I'm happy by this. Alright, so we're going to have uh, from this position I should have gotten lasers. I definitely should have gone lasers. Worst case scenario, you get to enjoy YouTube chat while uh, 
drinking tea. I mean, you're not wrong. Not right now. Don't do this. Get at least two of these ready to go. I'm just realizing the tournament someone self detonated after like three seconds. It happens. Engineering failures can lead to uh, horrible times for everyone around. Definitely cannon o'clock. I need to get rid of this and replace this here before something terrible happens to me. Same kind of deal here, yeah. Alright, did not expect, but here we are. Should probably. Nope. I saw it for an instant. There it is. That's another one gone.
Ooh. Our teammates looking like they're going to have a bad time. Time for damage. There we go. All right. Nice pen. Just need to get the cannon on the field. Uh, looks like we lost one. You shall be avenged. close shave um this will this does seem like it's likely to be an issue uh not being able to shoot over teammate teammates a little too tall for me but it is only machine guns so you can live with it if you do something There's cannon gone. That's pretty much him out of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lasers from above. We did it, team. He let it go. Enjoying myself, you know. This is surprisingly relaxed for a Torch stream. Not that Torch streams aren't often relaxed, but I don't know. I'm just feeling low energy today, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to get ready to join this next lobby. Because every three matches, just like this, just like this last patch, we give you an opportunity to come and join in with the rest of us. If you guys want to play live here in these massive lobbies, make sure to get ready because we'll be opening up in a moment. Remember, we make this kind of content multiple times a week, every week. Just so make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button. You got more content coming out all the time. Looking forward to the holiday stuff. So many more holidays. <laughs> Best relaxation game is Dark Tide or Maelstroms. Time flies, have fun. I will have fun. Time has been flying, though. Like, December for me has gone by incredibly quickly. December? No. <laughs> Can you do Maelstrom, please? I mean, not tonight. At least not on stream. Um, hey there, Jamming. How you doing? Yeah. We've gotten... 
I, I, I do enjoy a good Auric Maelstrom. Now, now, fish. No need to... No need to be aggressive. Not that I suspect you were being aggressive with that, but... You know how the internet goes. Commentary like that is taken as aggressive. Because everyone assumes the worst most of the time. You have to do something for the past four hours. So now you haven't been able to play and now you're inside. No. Well, you've been live for the past four hours. Love the Outer Wild stream. Yeah. Outer Wild stream. Outer Wilds. It's amazing. Um, Outer Wilds. Very amazing. Oh, God. We're in trouble. Um, the reason we're in trouble is that we aren't overdrive. That's that's the reason we're in trouble. He's long gone. I don't know. It's probably just lurking. Most people do. You know, it's it's not common for people to be uh, chatting. Most people just enjoy. Infinite upgrades and not overdrive. Yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. Um. Not really into it, but here we are. Grieving of the Fort stream soon? Always. Although, probably going to be doing some uh, Dyson Sphere. <laughs> Fellow listener here, and keeping you sane as you build Docker containers for work. Exactly. That's, that's the, uh, that's the joy of it. jonesing about playing DSP. Yes. I want to commit missile upon the uh, upon the dark fog. teammate is defended from such things for the most part. So I'm not concerned, but I'm still a little concerned. Oh, those are hostile motors. I didn't realize they were... I thought they were friendly motors.
not building that again. Uh, what I need is a new place to build turbines because my current location is compromised. He had an exposed can in there. Can I drop it? I blew off my own door? Question mark? No. I don't know what happened there. This going. <sighs> I said I'd start at two or three. Yeah, uh, you're correct. I did. And I'm gonna be honest. I didn't sleep particularly well and uh, didn't wake up until <laughs> three o'clock. It was actually painful, but that's uh, a different issue. me, sir. Oh, am I gonna die here? I find it unlikely that I'm going to be permitted to uh, rebuild at all during this experience. Get rid of it. Thank you. All right, well, that got exciting. Um, Oh, 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 boy.
All right. Thank you. Oof. Now, I am unfortunately somewhat negative on the whole energy production bit, which is not a great feeling right now. So glad I had all these four longs everywhere. Woo! -hoo. Drop shot from above. We are apparently focused fire in this player, so I am doing that. man is attempting to snipe my cannon. It's inside. I get hit by most things. I'm in danger. He's just going to continuously drop those shots on me. It's going to be a problem. And and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I need to do this and this. I I don't have another solution to this. Oh boy. Hey, Raider. How you doing? Welcome back. A scale of 1 to 10, how panicked are we? Not panicked so much as enjoying our... Us, enjoying the spectacle of our inevitable and slow demise. Low power? Very low power. Um, very, very low power. Good way to describe it. Please reactivate. Okay. <clears throat> uh, big cannon. That was unavoidable at some point. Um, yeah. Got mega cannon, just kind of hit us in the face with it. And that's that. Your favorite RTS? Welcome in, Chris. You haven't tried the twins yet? Raider, there's a new... Well, I don't know if you've seen. The um, Dark Tide had a new content drop with a new map. Specifically, it's a map... It's just a raid boss. That's, that's the entire map. It's just 
the, the boss part of the raid boss. Um, it's good. It's it's really good. I finally beat it. It took us days, but we finally beat it once. It was, uh, you're so worth it. You almost played Dark Tide yesterday and it didn't. So close, so far away. Your big heretic, yes, you with, with your spiky shoulders and corn symbols. It's bad. It's real bad. It's... oh boy. Actually, the, uh... I'm pretty certain the sister of the twins is a corn follower. Because she acts mighty corn adjacent. Doesn't have any, uh... Doesn't have any Nurgle signs on them. Like... She's full chaos, uh, chaos unified, and very big on the whole murdery thing. Corn for the corn god, milk for the corn flakes. <laughs> uh. Corn is your favorite carb. A. It's okay, and keep just being corny. A. That's a lot of portals you got there, buddy. Um, well, here comes a nuke. And once top base manages to bring the the. the Giga cannon to bear. Ooh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, ho, ho, it punched. Yep, yeah, it punched. Well done, well done. I got bullied real hard. Yeah, that combo attack was disgusting. Very disgusting. Flynn, why are you like this? Chaos undivided. Yeah. It's interesting to me that it's chaos undivided, which implies that it was at some point combined. Team's coordination was good. It was good. There was a uh, a good argument that the sister was also Slaneshi instead, but and again. Slaneshi would probably fit the context better than Coronate, but nice iced tea. Hmm. Dark Tide, the devs have done such a good job at writing the lore such that so much anything <clears throat> can go. It all fits, uh, it all fits together so cleanly. There's no flavor without sport. Yes.
So then I should kill and fight for sport, whereas coronates just like to fight and kill. It's true. Stop torturing your cornflakes. <laughs> uh, technically, that doesn't that that doesn't that doesn't work out as well when spoken aloud. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before the orcs show up, and we haven't really had many orc references. Like, I don't think, uh, the Xenos de description has been very orky. Just drink your cornflakes like everyone else. Drink? Ugh. <clears throat> Psycho support squad. Psyker support squad makes me happy every single time. Let's get you online. Should have put that down a while ago. We were talking earlier about uh, the fact they set the game up to be able to fight diverse enemies in various regions. Yes. Could easily change the planet setting to fight orcs. And the uh, cities for gene stealers just put the game on a weekly rotation or something. Yeah, that would be cool. I think it's not going to happen, but it would be cool. I would, I would like that. That would be a lot to do, though. Like, years and years and years to come, as well as licensing concerns. <clears throat> Needs to acquire Blazing Spirit, Nexus, uh, Trauma Staff. I can, can confirm, it's pretty good. I've been using... I don't know. I'm still... I'm still torn between... Flurry... Rend? I'm rending Flurry, and... Um, blazing Nexus. <laughs> Didn't recognize your corny joke. Oh no. How could I? Fucking heretic. Heretics, all of you. Need to make this taller. Is that what's going on here? No, we're good. Everything is fine. So many dark tide memes going on. It's a good game. Good time for everyone, yeah. Realizing there's a predicament with this loadout, with this lineup that I didn't foresee. 
but I can do this. That'll be enough to keep it intact. I actually don't know how to fix this. There we go. Fixed. That's going to be difficult. Doing a little bit of an experiment here, as you guys can... I'm sure you guys have noticed. Because this should be a lot easier to get it... Like, a lot more stable as well. The problem being other problems. Like, how do I get this thing connected? <laughs> is a big problem, apparently. Because I'm doing everything on odd angles. So it just doesn't want to connect at all. There we go. That worked. I have to odd angle everything. should get it nice and lined up here in the best of ways. Did I hear the agreement with uh, Henry Cavill on Amazon is official now? Yes! Yes, I did. And, uh... I am excited to see what they come up with. some real uh, good hope there. Hope. A dangerous substance. Okay, I want you to be on a leash. Good sir. This is this is a mess, isn't it? Come on. Come on, you can do it. This is taking up way too much APM to get this done. Alright. Okay. We're going to need batteries and all kinds of stuff here. going. Don't really use uh, YouTube. Understandable. A lot of people don't. Did someone say leash? Oh. <laughs> Lilith, go back to work. Now, horn dog, get out of here. 
Is Amazon doing anything good yet? Henry Cavill is legendary, but Amazon does not seem capable of producing anything good. Um, I mean, Amazon is just... Amazon is just the, uh... Publisher. Like, they don't... The problem with Amazon is they've chosen poorly. As we have Andromeda coming back and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You regained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel. So the special access rule in Discord. Welcome back to the party. I don't have the energy production for this. Uh, what was that? You, sir, are breaking. Alright, so we are aimed a little far. This is happening. Center pillar is still here. I do need to have these such that they are all the same level. This way they all aim simultaneously. Um, how do I want to proceed from here is the question. Because this is an issue. I need 10k proper in order to fire this, and... Oh. Oh my. You got overpenned. And shut down. And you are trying desperately, but it's not... It's not working. Alright, he's trying to recover. He's gone. Let's see. Oh, so close. You gotta be real careful with the, uh, with the aiming over there with the tier threes for unsurprising reasons. Alright, we're good. Alright. See how this goes. We should get a reasonable hit. Ah, uh, well, one of those. Oh, that was him. Okay, I was like, one of these is not mine, and I don't know if it's the one that went wild or it was it was teammates. Teammate hit the base, the enemy base. What happened? I genuinely don't know what happened there. I was... Well. Delay under... Th I don't know what that means. Yeah, okay. So Opponent built... The opponent I was targeting built some, uh... Built some portals. Could tell, because they sent those shots right back at me. Alright, so what I need to do is get one of these here. Here? Here. Get set up with some, uh, Megador. Yeah. That broke literally nothing, which indicates to me that it came through a series of walls. So, good news is... Um, my tier 3s are so scary that the enemy reacted heavily with portals and left themselves devoid of all things energy related. Uh, or at least dramatically reduced. 
Bad news is, my tier 3s are effectively no longer usable. <laughs> Lethal Cup is just a silly little game. It is! It is! I, uh... It is. I uh, loaded it up because it was. It looked fun, and I'm. I'm okay with that. Yeah, um, I would play it more, except I'm currently on a Dyson Sphere program kick, which is, I suppose, probably not surprising, if knowing me. Yeah. Interstellar domination. It's uh, a little hard to resist. <laughs> Full memory and scary things. Yes. I don't know. I, I am. I am broken. I am. A, do not fear such things. I always appreciate a game which lets us apply the human solution to problems. <sighs> Teammate, you need some better armors. Gonna have to deal with this, which is going to be a problem. Please get more roof. No. Uh, although I should actually. DRG is one of your favorites. DRG is very good. To this day, DRG is the game which makes me say, Hey, is your co-op game fun? No. A solution. Make it more like DRG. It, DRG is that good. I'm going to start rapidly running out of money here. Yep. DRG Deep Rock Galactic. So here's the thing. The opponents can never stop... Can never disable their energy shields across their roof. Or they die. Because I have three... I have three um, upgraded tier threes waiting to pounce. Just waiting for them to do that. Disco Rampage Gal. <laughs> oh no. Good job. Undo this. May lose my cannon here, but I, I've got to undeform this, or we're just never gonna be able to do things. Right. Fortunately, I happen to be rich, so I can afford this. Now, when these come online, uh, I think I can only blast his eco here. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have to adjust this up here. Yeah, get you upgrading. They panic so hard about the cannon, they shot themselves in the foot. That is unironically and typically the strength of uh, tier threes. Mm. 
The tier threes don't deal actual damage, they deal psychological damage. However, uh, there are some times they deal actual damage, so. Oh look! His portals are gone. It would be a shame if he uh, took them down for whatever reason. Every time we upgrade the tier threes, I have to completely re-aim them. Just kind of a lot to deal with, but alas. Got him with the laser. <clears throat> Buddhas are going to expect that might because you shot Eco. Uh, probably related. <sighs> Want to see a replay on that afterward? Yes. They're floating like a balloon right now. Yes. Uh, so we've got a few options here. Uh, I want to know what happened here. Was it the laser teammate that blew this up? So I did this. This happened. And then... What happened here? Yeah, it was laser. Okay. Okay. That was just very, very big laser cutting through. Makes sense. Alright, so... Flynn just got penetrated here. Just straight from the straight to the front. It's an extremely upgraded. Oh my god. Those rockets are so upgraded, they're hitting harder than the cannons. Which is crazy. Like. It's ridiculous. That's just a lot of. It's a lot of damage. I'm gonna watch that one again, but in slow motion, because he, he took it like a champ. I want to see what damage looks like. Right here. Because that's a lot of damage. The final hit was by a portal laser. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see. His teammates bored him on his Groot in there. I mean, he was going to die anyways. His core was too clear. There was multiple cannons dropping on top of his core, or at least adjacent to it. That was... Death was inevitable. The question was, what flavor? You just got murdered by bees. Oh, no. Hello there, Barbaretto. Welcome back. Let's do this. <laughs> Death of its overkilled flavor. My favorite kind of flavor. So overkill is underrated. Master the bees, cheese. I haven't played enough Lethal Company to have a much insight into the matter. 
flag. You go here. I know those don't technically need to be up high, but the higher they are, easier it is to do things around the rest of the base. Lethal Company? Yeah, I do have it. <laughs> you were set up? <laughs> sure. You desire sustenance, but you're unsure what kind of sustenance. Well, I'm hungry, and I want pierogies. So take that as you will. Chinese takeout. Ooh. Pierogi sound good, so does Chinese take it. Sounds like you're hungry is what it sounds like. But everything starts sounding good. Real though, cornflakes with a bit of honey on top. Got you through high school. Oh. I don't know. As I always react negatively to such thoughts because I really don't like the uh, that kind of uh, cuisine really dislike that kind of cuisine. Cuisine is a strong word to describe that, but you know. You know what I mean. Fresh bananas, cold and milk, the cereal, something about that there. I do like bananas a lot. Breakfast is toast and eggs with cornflakes. 
It only come out when you don't have time for proper meal. Or cornflakes only come out when you don't have time for proper meal. Just tell me. What's the savory version of cereal? Grits. Probably. I don't know where that hostile sniper was. It's like up there somewhere. Then again, grits is just cereal. You know, of a slightly different kind. I need energy production. Hello, did somebody call for an orbital strike? Because I did. Good luck. I don't know why you couldn't hear anything. Did remember you turned off your headphones? You know that'll do it. Um, that'll uh, keep things nice and quiet for you. Yeah. to do is this uh, I would need to do some of this taller please taller is a requirement I was unprepared for that, and I'm gone. Um, I like airstrikes. Airstrikes, they are my vibe. Who um, <laughs> needs in death anyways? Uh, I mean, that was that was what I was going for. I was just going to uh, strike it. It was just kind of a lot, kind of a lot going on there. Z Team two wasn't prepared for the orbital. I guess we need Sam sites in the game. I thought I had enough AA, and the combined team AA would be enough to defend it. I just, it, it, I was not right. That just screamed prejudice. I mean, I don't blame him. I was a premium target. Away we go, once again. What's your favorite DLC for this game? Uh, yes, yes, the uh, High Seas is my favorite. He's good. Uh, gives me more time for teas, but it gives me. <clears throat> I 
You can insert direct fire weapons now. Were they ever not? Put all your brain power into uh, D and D. Now that's a vibe right there. The dangle from the opponent's top base is somewhat concerning. Uh, the top base in general is concerning. Did he disconnect? He says he's loaded. Yeah, that's... Seems to be having some... I don't want to call it a connection issue. <laughs> no weebs around. Big shock. Oh, that's a deep hit. Uh, yeah, that player is effectively out of the game. Okay. Oh, that happens. Well, it's it's a it's a one v almost it's one v two and two thirds. Can you do it? Want to replay, replay on that? See what happens? Uh, he was loading his base with ammunition and didn't have enough defenses. Uh, he got hit low and it just uh, hit his internal well, box of ammunition, which exploded rapidly. Uh, the rightmost base does not have enough armor on their cannons. It can just be fired directly upon and destroyed. Uh, at least their cannon, their weapons platform. Oh, there goes the top base. Nice. Oof. Is this it? Nope, doesn't quite make the shot. It's bad. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it's real bad. Okay. Oh, it's real bad. Um, not really much left here to save. So you guys wanted to check out that uh, detonation down here. Check it out. Look at all of the box of ammo here. They all gonna go boom. And that's it. That's uh, really all there is to it. Uh, there's some secondary explosions that happen here. 
Um, we'll see this here in a second. Really cements the hole. Really cements the whole uh, them falling apart business. Kind of surprised they survived that in it all. They were lucky to not totally collapse. Yeah, I, I'm surprised they survived this with anything left. Uh, but that's three in this lobby, so you know what that means. Uh, that means that we get to make a brand new lobby to give everyone an equal opportunity to come and join. If you would like to join in yourself, now is your chance. Remember to hit that like button, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, the best place to get notified if you don't want to miss out on any kind of events is in the community discord. Link in the description below. And let's jump into the next lobby. Read it up. Time for tea. Can it say the leafy kind? I like that answer. What I am is tired. Looking forward to uh, getting a good old fashioned nap tonight. What on earth have I done? here but we can live with it as we work our way back here for an additional mine let's give us access to a new mine <coughs> as well as um, places for turbines In transition from forts to space forts. <laughs> DSP. Well, when we go to DSP, it'll uh, be a little bit more than just forts. We're going to be straight crusading. Jam into. Hmm. If 
foundation. So I think I need to do... Continue crusading. Mordhau is... You know, I actually haven't played a... I haven't played Mordhau in a while. That's a... That's an interesting game right there. The bases are so close. They really are... Um, they really are. to be able to fit that in, but not quite. Let's do this. Don't have the metal in death? You are correct. Would you like to take a guess on why we don't have the metal in death? In part because it dramatically increases the length of the game. Uh, in part because it's actually really obnoxious. Uh, I, mean, I know he's fixed it to make it better. In terms of uh, hotkey obliteration. But it keeps the game much more manageable. <coughs> much more manageable. building weapons in this position, but gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so let's do this, followed by this. Shields dropping. I could definitely fit a second turbine there. Um, that's unfortunately timed. That's very unfortunately timed. OK, 
Okay. here I'm going to go quick okay you started to chill with this How is gain speed and or health when upgraded just strength and splash? Uh, it's... Oh, I made a mistake. Please don't punish. Please don't punish. Okay. Never punished. to need to upgrade our energy production extensively. Very extensively. placement. I believe he was waiting for me to do that. a scary amount of laser beam. Very well done. One player removed.
I am getting concerned. Let's do this. Then we'll open the door. Thing is, the... Yeah, okay, that's, that's what I was worried about. Unless this is a bait. And I should just be able to fire this here. And remove a target. Alright, good. How he's strong. Oh, death by buzzsaw. Alright. <laughs> Can you elaborate on how it's a shell going out of our dimension? Uh, nope. Is there a world in which this doesn't kill me? Not here. We broke that, but not enough. crumbling down. Well done. That got exciting for me at the beginning. Can you show bottom of the map? Ooh, which map was that? Blockade. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back into it. Um, not aware of anything at the bottom of this map. At least nothing incredibly exciting and again what i consider exciting is very different from what most people consider exciting is that true that's different than higher standard entire city in a portal box. Oh, okay, so I'm blind then. Never mind. What do you consider exciting in general? Nothing. It's a problem. Someone was just intently watching your base, trying to take out your Howies. I mean, yeah, that's usually how that works. Did you see a couple words a couple rounds ago where the opponent so much as put down a single cannon, and it got sniped by three different players, myself included? Doing something as simple as, oh, disabling my return to senders. Which is, you know, the only thing which was keeping me alive at that point. Um, fully expected to get shot for it. Fully expected to get shot for it. Uh, and I did get shot at, it just, they didn't, they didn't hit me. Alright, uh... Ah. He can sit his right at the edge of mortality as exciting. 
Shh, don't tell them about my psycho ways. It's supposed to be a secret. Uh, nope. We're... We're doing this. Not as bad as the moment that you accidentally killed all your power of protection and somehow wasn't punished. We have secrets now? No. We don't have secrets. You asked. Psycho moment compilation win. No idea what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> beloved asked. Beloved knows everything. Beloved doesn't need to ask either. Alright, so this man's doing a rush tactic here, so let's go ahead and assist with this. Uh, it's not a rush, it's less rush than just uh, mass suppression. Which is unfortunate for me. Because that sniper is going to... Oh, please, MG, don't... Well, that was incredibly unfortunate for me. Alright, um... This is going to turn into a game of snipers only. Unfortunately, my base is locked to... Um three mines until I get a substantial expansion here. Alright. This man's got three snipers. Love how the uh, seer, the way that the seer emphasizes things, understandable. Why are you dying to sniper? Okay. I mean, I'm not saying no. Just that your resources really should have been spent elsewhere. 
I appreciate it. Alright, we gotta deal with this now. Proceed from here, probably with this. Well, that's a lot of damage. No. I cannot build any higher, so that's unfortunate. here. Alright then, uh, let's do this. That is an upgraded fire beam. sure who technically got that kill, but I don't mind, because it's gone. Okay, we're getting rid of this, recruiting this. Realizing now his core isn't where his core usually is supposed to be. Uh, he moved it over here. I can live with that. Rockets are great. They really are. They're very good at what they do. Hmm. That nearly took out the turbine in a single single shot, which is somewhat concerning. What just happened there? I'm pretty certain I didn't do that. Much as it happened to hit at the same time. got disconnected. I mean, it did get disconnected. I just don't know how. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, race car lagging out again.
Yeah, I'm just, just the impulse. It might have just been the impulse of this thing. to see what happened to this core over here. Oh, did you sell off? I mean, you're still in it. I mean, oh. Yeah, he sold off. Okay. It just happens to happen to coincide with getting uh, getting shot at. I was like, what? <laughs> base we killed so hard it broke i mean it's possible just not this time it just wasn't this time something is wrong with this game um. uh. I am contemplating whether or not to save the spot for race car no you just leave in Australia ah that's on I mean I suppose that makes sense. Usually ping doesn't cause this kind of issue. Don't kick your phone. All right. Okay. Well, we'll go with it. Fort ships conquer this, guys. Uh, I always hesitate to do fort ships. Uh, I should do another pass of. Uh, I should. We should probably do another stream where we do a lot of, uh, or we do the land cruisers. Because land cruisers has had some updates that makes it less difficult to use. Can confirm 300 ping to income is no more. Yes, but 300 ping typically doesn't cause this kind of issue with the match. Four chips is a free course swing. You're not wrong. kicked due to ping going past 350. Now you see that can happen but it's usually you can rejoin just fine. Like Forge is pretty stable about that like you can go about do things. Without uh, 
you can rejoin without too much consequence or whatnot. You're getting stuck on the uh, loading screen. Even when on the vanilla match, last time it happened is unusual. space anyway so I'm happy to do for long there excellent it's cool auto builds yeah I saw I've seen the auto build it it is actually cool like I like it that list of cool things it's it's pretty high up there Land Cruisers is very very well made still always hesitate to do such a large mod because unless because there's very few players who can actually utilize the mod in a way that doesn't take an incredible long time and doesn't drag the matches out new flame shadow every tank is the 101 abrams his words not yours ah uh. Try to join in the game end while you're joining. So you see, that would make sense if that happened the last time you got stuck on loading. The last time you got stuck on loading, the game was still going, and you were still stuck on loading. So like, I gotta explain that one, eh? Before we carry on the sandbags, so we can go on. There is our sweet. Oh, yeah, I don't have a uh, primary feature of this particular lobby. I wonder, it's like I'm missing something, I'm missing this. Alright, uh... There's no way that isn't defended, so we're gonna aim here. We get something done, but not a lot. 
Wow. That didn't need to be swapped. Uh, timing on that, though. This is why we moved the core. Oof. All right, so we are being targeted by multiples. Multiple cannons. Understandable. Wow, that deformed a lot, didn't it? So I need to change this to be something like this. I'm just gonna have to let that go as is. It is what it is, alright. Cannon coming into play. Going. I'm worried that I'm not doing tiny door stuff. Got it. Didn't need an upgraded laser for that when I got the door snipe, but. So that's one cannon user down, or at least one cannon broken. Is it back? Not yet. Very well done. I have... I mean, he's gone full defensive, it would seem. Let's... no. Let's do this. Should have expected that sooner, but here we are. Another player down. I do not currently have the energy production necessary to, or energy capacity necessary to fire this, uh, fire this laser. I'll uh, change that in a moment, I hope. There we go. Alright, so this man's covered in energy shields. Understandable. Have a nice day. Nothing if not effective.
All right, so uh, what do I do next? So we need anti-energy shield stuff. Preferably with a side of anti... Um, the side of anti... Uh, too low. Anti-portal. If I shoot here and hit this, I do catastrophic damage. If I miss by a single unit, um, it gets bad. It gets real bad. Well, that was a laser light show. Don't see that every day. There we go. Cut him deep. Alright, we got secondary explosions deep in there. Good. Ooh, nice. Aw. My EMP. There's zero way these EMPs survive the uh, cannon shells. Yep. No surviving that. Laser hits the foundation nodes. They, uh, it breaks all the foundation. It breaks all of the, uh, all the foundation. All of it. It just does that much. It just does that much. <laughs> uh, ready to catch? I don't even know if catching would have saved you, because it doesn't. I don't, it wouldn't have saved you because we we hit. Is the upgraded laser straight destroy background bracing? So if you notice here, the background bracing is getting destroyed. It's just it's all gone. It's gone from back here. It's going away here, and it's moments away from going here. Even if you caught. You would have lost. Oh, no, no, no. It's 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 all gone. Even if you caught there, it wouldn't have been enough. It's you would have had to have completely reconstructed it as the laser is as the laser is going. Return to sender is still working though. It sends a cannon shell back, which is which is cool. Uh, so that was that was good. Um, I like I like that one. All right, at least that one is satisfying my end. Oof. Looking forward to that. What? Ah. <sighs> I do kind of want to see the uh, that from the other map. But, uh, 
think what we're going to do here is we are going to wind it down. We've had a nice, there's another three lobby match. And uh, we're going to... We're going to head on out for the night. It has been a nice, good stream. Uh, we've got plenty of plenty of goodies coming up soon for the holidays. And I'm looking forward to... Uh, looking forward to doing... Looking forward to uh, doing more things. Uh, but for now, have a good night, everyone. See you guys later. Uh, let's see. I'll send you guys off to, uh, for those on Twitch, I'll send you guys off to Winter. Looks like he's doing some arcade stuff, which you guys know that. You guys know and love that. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button because we have new content coming out every single week, all the time. And uh, got some extra stuff planned for the holidays. But for now, have a good night, everyone. See you guys later.